Hey everyone, welcome back, and it's finally time. Although I almost wonder if the support chain we're about to see will be as worth it as the one I saw bought this, I ain't gonna lie, I was pretty good. If you're unaware, then for the last time I think I'll say this. When I reached the Golden Deer route, that was the first route I played. And that route. We lost, well, I only managed to bring with me Bernadetta, Annette, Ingrid, and Mercedes. Meaning everybody else on this list, we lost. And the hardest one, because it started with Ash and then Ferdinand, those were two of the ones that really stick out with me. Then when we got to the battle at Grander Field, then I was like, all right, if I can save one person, I wanted to try and let it be Petra. I fought everybody else, and Petra hurt so much because, well, not only that I wanted to save her, but also she, at the time, was the only person that I did not have um, that had a rank with Claude. Everyone else, I had managed to get... That's why I initially prioritized Annette and Ingrid. And I used Hilda for Mercedes. And actually, my boy Crew 5 also had some influence on that as well. But I was also trying to get Sylvain, Caspar, and Ferdinand. But for Claude, you know, the only one I was missing was Petra. I could get Hilda in the Blue Lion route. But Claude was only exclusive to this, to this route. And... At the end of it all, when we are facing the final battle with the Edelgard, Petra shows up again after I thought I'd saved her and I had to take her out. That death, I think, made the Golden Deer route feel more real because I can never see their support chain unless I played through the game again. And now, over three years later, I'm about to see it. Though, one thing I do want to kind of point out, and let's go over and see where she is. She should be, I think, in the Black Eagle classroom, because this is also the first time that I've recruited Petra, and she isn't with Edelgard. All the other um, Black Eagles I brought along with me in Dimitri's route. People, well... From some either some miscommunication or things people said in the comment section, I was convinced that I should probably leave Petra out of the blue lines as well. So I only brought her an Edelgard's route. So her line here should be new as well. Edelgard is controlling the Empire. She is putting the pressure on the kingdom and alliance. Yeah. Empire and religion are at open war. It will be difficult for us at first. But corrupt nobles are many. That means the common people will rebel and be joining our side. Huh? With you, Professor, the battle tides will... Uh, will turn. I have certainty. What the heck? She said the same line to Edel... Petra? Edelgard is controlling the Empire. She is putting the pressure on the Kingdom and Alliance. Empire and religion are at open war. It will be... difficult for us at first. But corrupt nobles are many. That means the common people will rebel and be joining our side. Really? Really? Corrupt nobles are many. That's intriguing. So Petra will say the same line if you're with Edelgard or against her? So, it... Huh. Maybe I've misunderstood what Petra said there, and some people even tried to correct me, but... The fact that she says it here... Well, I won't get too much into it, but that is interesting. Hmm. Alright, well... Uh, what I was actually gonna point out is that I noticed... Edelgard normally stays stationed up here, uh, whereas, uh, well, Dimitri was in the cathedral, and Claude's just 
chilling wherever. Interesting little distinction. Uh, but all right. Now, with that said, let's go. But honestly, just that line alone kind of, well, not makes it worth it, but nope, 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 we're not doing that. Um, It's fascinating to see. That Petra literally says the same line. I also want to see what Petra says during the other um, the other maps as well. Petra and Constance, because I promise you, she had some some sort of problem with the alliance. Oh, and you know all the Ashen Wolves. Of course, I like to see what Happy. If Happy says Closter, there's a lot of things that I still want to see. And I might advance the story after this, but for the moment, uh, no, let's go to, uh, yeah. I looked up Claude supports once I was done with the game. Well, like looked it up on YouTube or just searched it. I should say that I searched Claude supports up on YouTube and they had Petra as the thumbnail. I kept feeling like I was missing out on something truly spectacular that I'd never see. And of course, if you're unaware, Petra was one of my chosen three. Um, yeah, let's uh, go ahead and go down here. Although you'll see more, but you know, of course, I got Petra's A rank. Yeah, I some of the other, <laughs> some of the other S ranks are still here. Um, I didn't actually choose any of the Blue Lions. Marianne's is still here. I'm missing Hilda's. Hmm. And I never did get Lysithius. I probably will do something with that. I still have Flames. Um, but yeah, Shamir and Happy. Since I do have the game back up, some other possibilities can exist. But for now, we've got four supports. These are Claude's last supports in the game, unless you include female Byleth. But for me, this is it. Let's get started. Three years I've been waiting for this. This looks like an ideal place to take a nap. Only one way to know for sure. Did I click on Shamir's by accident? Or Happy's? <sighs> and there's a nice breeze today, too. Claude? In fact, do all of them start... Hang on. Now I gotta compare that. Do all of Claude's supports with the three choices start with a nap? <sighs> There's really no better place for my midday nap than under the shade of a nice big tree. A midday nap? Claude, why are you lazing about? You should be training. Sun's up already? Uh, ah, good morning! Just want to point out again. Whoa! Happy, is that you? Where are you? I'm surprised you knew I was here. He just about gave me a heart attack with that impromptu good morning. She did not. Huh? What my three choices. Why are you taking a sleep on the ground, Claude? And they're, I, they're talking to each other. Is that Petra? Where are you? Oh, they're talking to each other. Were you up in that tree the whole time? What? I couldn't feel your presence at all. Amazing. Really? It is safe to take sleep in the tree's top. Why would you choose the dangerous ground instead? That's fair. Claude does fly. Your logic is sound. I'll give you that. But how is one supposed to get up there without losing the sleepies from the effort? Losing the sleepies? I do not know what is meant by the sleepies, but getting in the tree's top is easy. Was that an intentional rhyme? And you will be using all of your energy, so that good sleep will find you up in the tree. As a solid argument. I see. That makes a certain kind of sense, but it's not as relaxing as a good ground sleep. Give it some trying. And do not think with too much hardness when you return to the ground. Feel it. Feel it? If you stop for thinking, your arms will get heavy. Hmm. That is way more thought than I'd hope to give this nap of mine. That is fair. But I'm not one to give up before even trying. There goes nothing. Really? I... I can do this! <laughs> I have not known a noble here who can climb trees. Is this a weakness of Fodland Nobles? Well, I wouldn't call it a weakness per se. No, not a weakness. I just... How do I... Ah! Okay, already? I'm loving this. Alright, I'm loving this. You should be quitting. It is a danger to be falling from such a height. Oh, I, 
I think that's enough for today. Well, at least you tried. This might sound like an excuse, but we don't have a lot of tall trees where I grew up. Really? This is all new to me. I would have thought Elmira had like some... Okay, redwood trees are a bit out there. Maybe I shouldn't think that, but they, you know, they have all these flying mounts. You know, I, I would think they. That's interesting. You should take your sleep on the ground. I will take mine in the tree. Uh, you won that round, tree. Oh no, I like that. I, I already, already. I was actually when I was going back through the supports, I was getting his with Ingrid's again, and I liked their dynamic so much. Petra's not bad either. Neither was Annette. Claude has some good choices. Anyways. Part B, or C2. Hey there, Petra. Claude? Where are you? Where else? Wait! Wait I'll meet you down there. He went to the tree! Claude, I thought you were not able to climb the trees. I know I'm recording right now, but still. Anyways. True. And that is exactly why I worked like a madman to devise a new climbing technique. I see. I have much admiration for that. To climb is a skill with value. Uh, what can I say? I just... Okay, so I may have cheated a little. Uh... Using my bow to shoot a rope over a branch. Or a few branches. Or all of the branches. Uh, well, you know, it works. But once I got up there and hauled up the ropes, it was the same result as if I'd climbed it your way. I am understanding. That costs more time, though, so it is not the best thing for hunting. Very true. But you are not harming the tree, so that is an advantage. I am liking this technique. Really? You're right. I didn't harm the tree at all. I'm surprised that impressed you. You know, I gotta remember, Petra's also an incredible archer as well. Yeah, she has the bow in her special. The tree has a spirit. If you hurt the tree, you will give its spirit anger. I see. I take it the people of Bridget have a close relationship with nature, then? Yeah. Trees give us food and also shelter. We are needing them, and they are needing us. True. The people of Fodland believe everything is a blessing from the goddess. Huh. They've forgotten to be grateful to nature, too. I would think... Hmm, well, if it's made by Rhea, then... Would she forget nature? I guess so. Nature gives us life, sustains us. Without it, we couldn't breathe, couldn't live. Hmm. It's everything. Very true, Claude. It's fine to pray to the goddess, but we have to respect nature too. Don't you think? Yes. I do not know this goddess, but I know nature. That is the knowing I prefer to have. You and me both. It would be interesting if Celtus could actually talk to the students. Okay, well, move in fact through these quite quickly. I want to spend some more time, but all right, the bee. Claude, what are you doing? The training equipment needed maintenance, so I thought I'd give it a good cleaning and some oil. Well, that sounds familiar. Why is that for you to do? I mean, you know, he just wants to help out. If you intend to use something a lot, it's on you to take good care of it. Oh, you mean... Well, no training equipment for everybody, yeah. Yeah, the, he... Help me now. You are a noble who does not have fear of working with hardness or becoming dirty. You know, Patra, that could be very misconstrued, but we're gonna ignore that. And you can climb trees. I am impressed. You know, I'm not gonna comment on that either, but I'm glad. Thanks, but to be honest, I don't think being a noble really has anything to do with anything. Well, it shouldn't. Nobles and commoners are all equal here. We're all buddies. Even you do chores, don't you? Yeah. Social rank doesn't matter when you put your life in each other's hands. I like that about this place. Yeah. One thing that... I'm not sure if I mentioned it um, in Three Hopes, but... When I went back to Three Houses, I forgot. Rhea made it a requirement. You know, doesn't matter if what part of life you're in. You know, rank shouldn't matter, although... The nobles do live in a different wing than the commoners, but only some of them. Like, I remember Lysithia's uh, quarters are on the ground, I think. I'm pretty sure. I have your same opinion. Status is something chosen by chance, not by a person. 
everything became different when I came from Bridget to the Empire. Nobility does not stop life from surprising you. Yeah? I know just what you mean. Oh, really? It's not like the ancestors of the nobility or royalty were selected by the goddess herself, after all. Yeah. Yeah. Is... What Actually, what makes Claude say that? Because I would think, based on how Edelgard sees the system, that Rhea would teach that their bloodlines are chosen. Hmm. What does origin or status matter? In the grand scheme of things, we're all just insignificant mortals. I wouldn't say insignificant, but... Nobility isn't a matter of birthright alone. At least not in my eyes. Claude, you are... Very much strange for a noble. Patra almost sounded like she was about to say something else. But anyways, and that was... It probably hit different because that was flawless English. Right there. Thanks. And same to you. You're a princess of Bridget, right? If I'm a strange noble, you are too. I am normal in Bridget. In Fodlin, you are an... Abnormality. Again, she keeps trying to say like... <laughs> There's a hint of affection on those lines. I'm noting that. And, uh, yeah, that is true. Bridget probably would be a normal princess there. <laughs> An abnormality, am I? Gentleman that I am, I'll go ahead and take that as a compliment. I think also that your heart is kind. Yeah? I am thinking you will be a good king. Why did you mention king? I'll remember that. But for now, this equipment isn't going to clean itself. I mean, again, maybe it's from a Bridget perspective. But Clyde's Duke. He's not going to be king. I will be helping you. We will join together our efforts. <laughs> You're an abnormality, princess. A wonderful abnormality. Yeah, I can, I can feel that. I'm not going to lie, I really like their dynamic. I really like their dynamic. Let's see the A. Hey, Petra, are you there? Doesn't surprise me that this music is happening. Yes. What is your need? Goodness gracious. Um, no. Pictures? Them two? Oh, I didn't actually think you'd be here. You think I am not here, but you were calling for me. Well, you know, just in case. It seemed best to call out as soon as I arrived. From the other side? I can never tell when you're here. And it wouldn't be good for my heart if you just dropped in from out of nowhere. Ah, uh, fair point. When I was arriving, I called out for Claude, too. Really? I was thinking it would give me joy if you were here. Oh, really? Is that a fact? I'm honored. Anyway, I see you beat me here today. Say, Petra, wouldn't it be great if, no matter how bad the war gets, at least this place stayed peaceful? Yeah? Yes, I think so. I like this tree. It gives me calmness. I like this tree too. It feels like it's always welcoming and reliable. But when the war has ended, I must be leaving this tree. Do you really have to? I must be returning to Bridget. Claude, my grandfather has been saying I must be... Uh? Uh, must find a husband of Fodlin. Really? Whoa, where did that come from? You sly mess. <laughs> have you been searching for a suitor all this time? Yeah, maybe. I can't, you know, honestly, that's something I gotta say. Petra internalizes this thing. If she ever has a problem or a scheme, it would be very hard to read. If Fodlin and Bridget become bound by marriage, it will give my grandfather great joy. Yo, Petra. I mean, you know what, that's, that's true, but... Well, you are a princess, so it makes sense that you have obligations. Um, um, Claude, understand. But, but that's the thing, Claude's not even gonna be here! I am not having an obligation. I will only be marrying if I find a good person. So, you just need to find a man who meets your expectations. Claude. That could be tricky. Come on, man. Or, or unless you're playing us off. No, I will be finding one. It will not be a problem. Oh? And who's the lucky fellow? She gonna say it? It is my secret. I will not be telling him yet. Okay, Petra is showing me a different side, and I approve. I see. D 
Do you think he can give you the kind of future you deserve? I am not knowing about the future. But my perfection... Whoa! My perfect <laughs> husband could be him. Then by all means! And if he gives refusal, I will be tying him up and dragging him home. Right. Tie up? <laughs> well, I'm sure the lucky man will learn to accept his fate one way or another. Besides, I doubt any man would reject a proposal from a catch like you. Hey, nah, nah, this is my favorite one of Claude's supports. Why did I miss this? You know, like I said, it gave this never happened in my Golden Deer route. It never happened, and that's so sad. Nah, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta send this to Crew 5 somehow. Perfect. Perfect. But I'm not gonna lie, like, what are Petra's options? What did I think of, um, Hubert belongs with Edelgard, alright, I just, I, I don't really see him, well, Dorothea was in, no, 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 Dorothea had so many more better options too, like, Dorothea and Ferdinand, Dorothea and, um, who else was a good, I had her end up with Yuri, um, in another, let's see. Oh, Felix was in, and Sylvain, yeah, Dorothy has some interesting, interesting ones as well. Um, but back to Petra. Um, Ferdinand, it was, it was all right. Um, Linhart was, was pretty cool too. Although I really liked what Linhart did with, uh, Lysithia. That was, that was very nice. And Caspar was, was all right too. Um, she had, wait, what, what? Right, I, Ash, I didn't get Ash. I've never seen that? Okay, well, I've never seen that. So, I have to, I have to see Petra and Ash. Which means I gotta go get Ash. Because, like I said, I did recruit him. Um, but in, I think in the Golden Deer route, you gotta get to that map, recruit Ash, and then I have to finish there. Wow. And then there's Cyril. Well, I don't. I don't think anybody will top Cyril and Lysithia. Well, for Cyril's supports, like them two, it was that was wholesome. And I think if anybody who doesn't like Cyril, just try that support line out, and you know, ignore what happened in the Crimson Flower round, okay? Because when people are angry, they do stuff that you know is not them. You know, that's like you're not you. When you're hungry, you eat your Snickers, and there you go. You're you again. Wow. Perfect choice. Understand also, like I said time and time again, I compare me and Claude time and time again. So when I saw it, when Petra said that line, of course, I can't help but think, you know? If the character I compare myself to the most in Fire Emblem that's what you say then all right i approve 110 percent. if this was the golden era i think she would probably beat out ingrid for although they're really they're both really good honestly i think claude had good chemistry with both of them as odd as it sounds i did think they beat out um claude and hilda for me i, I expected something more with their a rank but and perhaps that's because both of them have four Whereas Hilda has three. Or maybe it's more so alongside Claude's uh, methods where somebody completely different from him, you know, ends up being his one. Because he's all about, you know, linking people together. I mean, someone the who want, someone who wanted to be a knight in Fargus and then the Bridget Princess. That's that's something special. I would be very interested to see what Petra thinks about things as we go along. And I probably will do some other stuff with that. But for now, that's going to end it for Claude and Petra's supports. So, like I did for Baltus, let me know what you think of Claude and Petra's supports. I may, I'm no promises yet. I may do some other stuff with the other supports because there's some still some that I'm missing. Um, but for now, I'm gonna get back to three hopes, and we're gonna finish 
the um, Alliance route or the Golden Wildfire route and that so actually it would be the Federation route so yeah anyways with that being said please post your thoughts down in the comments below I am so glad I saw this it was worth the wait and I will see you all for whatever we do with this game next time